Hi, Mike here to show you the new Catalog API for Oracle Analytics Cloud. So as Oracle Analytics users, you'll be familiar with this UI and the ability to search your catalog. So for example, I could search for workbooks and the UI will show me all the workbooks. Of course, within the catalog UI, you're also able to move items, copy items, and we can inspect items where we can see um, information about that, such as um, last modified, we have the object ID, which is something that will be useful when using the, the catalog API. And if we have items which are in the, in the shared area, then we can actually inspect those and we can see access control lists. So again, that's something that is able to be um, interrogated and modified within the new catalog API. So moving over to the documentation, here you can see for the catalog API, all the various endpoints that we have. So you can see that we have the ability to, um, to start off with, just use the slash catalog um, endpoint, and that will show us all the supported types. We can also get details. Uh, we can search the catalog. We can move and copy. Um, we can get a an ACL, an access control list, return for an item, as well as update that. So I'm going to show you now some examples within Postman of actually using the API. So the first endpoint I mentioned was slash catalog. So if you call that API, you get a list of all the supported uh, types. The, the, so you can see we have a comprehensive list of um, objects within the catalog that you can use uh, the, the catalog API with. Now, the next thing that you may want to do is to search for all items of a specific type. So you can build that up on your uh, URI by adding after slash catalog slash workbooks in this case, and then a question mark with search. And then I've got um, an asterisk for a wildcard and that returns all the workbooks. You can actually narrow down the search as well. So here I could search for any workbooks which have got ADW in the title. So what you'll see is when we get, um, if I just go back to the previous tab, when we get the list of workbooks, you'll see this ID. Now, this is a base64 uh, URL encoded ID. So whenever you want to reference one of these workbooks or other objects within the API endpoint, you would use that ID. So here I'm specifically looking at uh, the, the metadata for this workbook. Now for some of the other actions that you can carry out on these catalog objects, the way that the URI is then formed is that we then add slash actions and then the actual action that we are wanting to carry out. So in this particular case, we're getting the ACL for this particular workbook, and you can see that appear in the um, in the response. Now, moving over to another Postman window, I have some examples of how you would update the ACL. So in this particular case, we're doing a post on this endpoint, and you can see the ACL list is, uh, I've defined this for a couple of application roles, and then you can see the permissions that I have now defined and I'd like to modify for, for that object. And then just to finish off, I've got an example of how you may want to move an object. So again, using the slash actions slash move, we then have a destination ID, which is um, the, the base64 encoded uh, destination, including the, the full path. And then finally, copying. So again, actions, copy, and then we've got the new item name, and this will copy it to the same folder. But you can actually also change the payload as well um, to copy it to a, to a different folder, and that, that information will be in the doc. So thank you very much.